I don't know why you can't be awake for this. I mean, I put forth the, yeah, I'm talking to you. I put forth the effort. I try and I try and I try to bring you into my world. And what do you do? You turn up your nose at me, you turn away and you just curl up and go to sleep. <sighs> hey, are you ready for some good news? First up, another week, another encouraging advancement in the fight against HIV AIDS. Researchers at Japan's Kumamoto University have created a compound that stops HIV from exiting an infected cell, preventing the infection from spreading to more cells. Eventually, the infected cells die and the virus right along with them. The compound is called L-Hippo and it's a key part of a new treatment strategy for HIV called lock-in and apoptosis. The lock-in bit should require no further explanation. Apoptosis is the technical term for natural cell death. By introducing L-Hippo to HIV-infected cells, the Kumamoto University researchers were able to contain and eradicate the infection in laboratory trials. There's still a lot of work to be done before L-Hippo can be used to treat human HIV patients, but if and when such a treatment becomes available, L-Hippo could be the most powerful weapon yet made to attack the viral reservoir that hides within HIV-infected patients and allows the infection to reassert itself if antiretroviral therapy is discontinued. The paper on L-Hippo and the lock-in and apoptosis treatment approach is published in Scientific Reports. Next up, are you interested in finding a clean, renewable method for generating electricity? Why don't you cry about it? No, seriously. Scientists at Ireland's University of Limerick have shown that electricity can be generated by applying pressure to a protein found in tears. That protein is lysozyme. It's also found in egg whites, milk, and saliva. It's able to generate electricity under pressure thanks to the piezoelectric effect, which enables materials with the necessary properties to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. The University of Limerick team found that lysozyme crystals exhibited a level of piezoelectricity equivalent to that of quartz crystals, which are typically the examples cited when someone is explaining what the piezoelectric effect is. Because lysozyme crystals are naturally occurring and relatively easy to make, their potential as a power source is quite impressive. The UL team suggests lysozyme crystals could someday be used to power tiny pumps to control the release of drugs into the body, or to operate small biomedical devices, or to replace some more conventional piezoelectric power sources, many of which rely on toxic elements such as lead. The paper on lysozyme crystals as a piezoelectric power source is published in Applied Physics Letters. And finally, a professor and a team of students have discovered 15 new species of spiders. The spiders all belong to the genus Spintharis. They're informally known as smiley face spiders because, well, as you can see, they have markings on their bodies that resemble a smiley face. They were originally thought to be a single species, but a professor from the University of Vermont and four undergraduate students were able to confirm at least 15 separate species within the genus. And of course, new species need names, which the UV students were only too happy to supply. Thanks to them, the records of spider taxonomy now include the species S. Barack Obama I, S. Michelle Obama I, S. Bernie Sanders I, S. David Bowie I, and S. Leonardo DiCaprio I. As the professor who led this study said, the finding of these 15 new species tells us something about biodiversity. The more we look, the more we discover. The paper on the 15 newly discovered species of Spinthara spiders is published in the Zoological Journal of the Linnean Society. Hey, since you're up, do you want to read the part that, where we talk about what we've learned this week? No? That's okay, I can do it. It's, it's no problem. 
researchers develop a new method for containing and starving out HIV infection, scientists discover a new way to generate electricity from proteins found in tears, and a team of professors and students discover and name 15 new species of happy-looking spiders. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron of this channel. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. It's clean, you got it, it's clean. <laughs>